Well, here's where it gets really interesting. Here's what Mercator is famous for, in addition to doing all these maps. He converted rum lines, and for those of you who don't remember rum lines, loxodromes, the courses that ships actually follow when they hold a magnetic azimuth, they don't match up with the latitude-longitude lines. And I'll show you in a second, just to illustrate it. But what Mercator did was he drew maps where all these lines were straight, the rum lines, the course lines that the ships actually followed following an azimuth. And here's what you have it. So the rum line versus the great circle arc. So on an actual quote unquote globe map, now granted it's a two dimensional projection, the great circle is closer to straight and the rum line takes more of a curvy direction, although they both have a bit of a curvy direction. But then on the Mercator projection, when he changes the map, in other words, the size of the squares for the lat long lines, the rum line, the loxodrome, the course the ship follows on an azimuth is straight. And then the great circle art arc, excuse me, the shortest distance between two points on a globe is now an arc. Oh, how fitting. So what are the effects of this type of projection? Well, here you can see it in this animation. And you can see that the rum line, which is red, and the great circle arc is blue. And so what you're doing is you are distorting the actual map to make one line straight. And this is an animation of it. How fascinating that this was never done until I explored this earlier in the channel. And what does this do to the size of the continents? Well, when you do this Mercator projection, here's what you have. You have a discrepancy in the size of the continents. The further north and south you go from the equator, the greater the discrepancy. So for example, a lot of people don't realize that Africa is much, much larger than we realize as a continent. And places like Russia and Greenland, especially in the northern islands of Canada, they are much smaller. Again, this is the price of imposing this projection of Mercator. So you can actually have straight rum lines and loxodromes. And my goodness, look at Antarctica. Suddenly it becomes relatively small. Well, no wonder Captain Cook missed it, right? I mean, it's still a little larger than Australia, I think. But, uh, you know, he found Australia, but he missed Antarctica. But he did confirm there wasn't a continent down there by missing the continent that was down there. Don't ask me to explain it. 